Happy Saturday. I've been packing all day again. I'm going to New York with Kiss and I have to leave at like three in the morning or I have to like get up at three in the morning, not like leave. So I need to pack today, which I've gotten 90% of my packing done. I'm almost done with that. And now we're gonna decorate for Halloween. That is what I've been wanting to save this Saturday for for a long, long time. I've been a busy, it's been a busy ass week. And that's cause I was gone last week. So I had a lot of work to make up for, but I'm about to hairspray some of these flyaways down cause they're a little wild. And then we're gonna get into it. I don't know if you guys saw on TikTok or Reels, but I made a candy drawer and this is dangerous guys. I saw someone else do this and so I got inspired to do it, but this is very dangerous, but I'll be honest. This is not as dangerous for me as it is for Ty because I'm a salty girl. So I'm thinking next time it like gave me the idea because everybody on TikTok is like, I'd eat that in a day. And I'm like, me too, like for sure. Like I love junk food, don't get me wrong. But like sweets is not my like guilty pleasure. It's salty food. So I'm trying to figure out what all I would put in the salty drawer. I already know I'd put hot Cheetos in there and I know they would go in one of the bigger containers. Girl, I would have those hot Cheetos in a big container. So if you can see, we have large containers and small. I would, I would honestly be like hot Cheetos, hot Cheetos, hot Cheetos, but just for the fun of the video. What else could I put in my salty drawer? I was thinking some like, they have the, um, flaming hot peanuts. I was thinking we could do some of those. Also, people were saying that these will mix flavors if you leave them in here long enough. But I don't think those people know who lives here because they will not be left in here very long. Skittles and peanut M&Ms are a hit in my house. We have the ghost. This is Tyler's favorite candy. So I put that up front and center for my BB. For my BB. And then this is everybody's favorites, the clusters. These will be gone, literally. By the time I get back from New York, those are gonna be gone, especially if Erin was here. Erin loves these too. She loves salt. She loves sour. This is, this is like a nerd type candy. I got so many questions. People are like, what is this? I was like, actually, I don't know because I threw away all the wrappers, but I can look it up. Maybe. But it's like by nerds because it came in the same pack. I like Snickers ice cream bars. Have y'all had those? They are deadly. Okay. Enough about junk food. We're supposed to be decorating for Halloween. So this is my Halloween decor. I just got some stuff at Target. My sister got me these adorable pumpkins. This is stuff that I've had. I mean, listen, it's pretty much all pumpkins. All pumpkins, all pumpkins. And I do this because I'm lazy. And for the inside of my house, I just like to decorate for Halloween and kind of leave it up, you know, around November. So I kind of avoid jack-o'-lanterns for that reason and like spooky stuff. But this year I bought some, okay? I'm gonna stop being so lazy. Every year I'll build a little bit, but you know, it's like fall time vibes, Halloween. Kind of get it. Okay, let me show you what I got that's actually a little bit spooky. First off, I got this skeleton here. It's like a medium size one. It might be too big for this. I might have to go with my tiny one, but I got him at Target. And I got this board at Crate and Barrel. I ordered it this year. My mother-in-law always gets me a Crate and Barrel gift card for my birthday. She's so sweet. And so I try to buy like fall decor with it. So I got this because I thought this would be a cute charcute. A cute start charcute. Okay, for this space, I got my little tiny skeleton. I love him. And I got him at Target. And then I'm gonna, I got this pumpkin at Target too. It's like a glass one. So I'm just gonna put these together. I already kind of vibe this out, so I think it looks cute. He's just like chilling there. It's giving Halloween. See, I told you about something scary. I'm about to make my AG1 drink. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this portion of this vlog. This is a new pack. I put mine in this can so I can keep it in the refrigerator. It's just easy to use. So it's a green powder. It looks like that. Half the little scoop. Y'all, when I'm on the go or I'm busy, I do not eat the way I need to be eating. So this ensures and gives me the peace of mind that I'm getting all the goods in. So I mix this in about eight ounces of water, maybe a little less, maybe a little more. I add ice cubes and it's one scoop per serving. So just boop. I like to drink it through a straw so I can just chug it real quick. I like to drink it in the morning because on an empty stomach, you're gonna get the maximum absorption of all the goods. Okay, and just between me and you, I like to add lemon. You can also put this like in your smoothies or however you wanna drink it. I just do water with lemon. Your little lemon slices. So not only does this support the immune system, it also has whole food source ingredients in it. It just ensures me that I'm getting all the good vitamins and minerals in my diet daily. So easy to do. They also had to-go packets, like little to-go packets, which I live by because I'm always on the go. Okay, but the real, real, the differences I have noticed is gut health. Like I'm all about gut health. If your gut is healthy, it, you're overall better off. And it has helped me so much with bloating. It also has comprehensive nutrition supplements in it that provide nutrients for your body, 
for your brain. I also feel like this helps with energy. I don't even drink coffee, y'all know that. So I feel like this gives me a little boost. It also helps promote clearer, brighter skin and it's good for your hair and nails. So <laughs> I want I want all that. If you guys are interested in trying out AG1, go to drinkag1.com forward slash Larly to get started on your order. AG1 is gonna give my community a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. Now let's get back into it. I made my boo some AG. Lord, maybe one. Get, it. get it. I used to do these. I need to get back on them. I'm back in it. Oh, oh Chug. Maybe I normally just have like that bowl, maybe a book there, but I got this medium skeleton, which I'll probably end up using for the charcut. Tell her, tell me to ch chop this. So I might actually do that, but then we can never hang him. So anyways, here, chilling. Oh, he's kind of cute sitting on the edge, but I found a small black base to put the candy in. Cause he's supposed to be holding the candy. <gasps> That's kind of cute. I like the edge. Okay, we're gonna put, we're gonna transfer the candy. I probably need to put a little more in there, but that's so cute. Very spooky. Next, I got these little babies at Target. They were like in the dollar section, so I think oh. they were like two or three bucks. And look, oh, there we go. <gasps> Y'all, they light up. So I was like here, and here would be cute. Okay, that's like the cutest thing ever. I'm so glad I got these. Let me try to light this one. <gasps> oh, this is kind of like a darker corner in our kitchen, so this gives it the spooky vibes. And I got the cutest thing of all. Are you kidding? $3.99. Oh, what? He's so cute. So I kind of want to put him here. Okay, that is so freaking cute. I feel like, should I do like this? I like that better. It makes more sense. So cute. Okay, Ty's watching football, but. He's ruining the aesthetic, bay. <gasps> You're not in the candy drawer. No, I choose. Ty. Sorry. Let's be in the candy drawer. Sorry. One pumpkin here, which I love the orange contrast since all the stuff's pretty neutral. It gives it a pop. We already know about our little man there. Tell there's some Starburst in there. Maybe I should put some high chews. Mm. This glass pumpkin is from Target. It's really pretty. I didn't have anything really for in here. And then I put the other glass pumpkin here. I just thought it looked so like clean and pretty and we use this table so much so I wanted it to be realistic. I got this one at Target last year. You already know about this. More Target pumpkins, $15. I got these last year. Target be taking my money when it comes to decor. Also got the little brown one to go with it. And then I normally, this is one of my favorite candles ever, but I normally do this by wax melder, but I'm just gonna put it there for decor because it still smells good. This is the cutest thing I've ever bought, this little trio. I wonder if they, they don't light up. Are they dead? <gasps> they still light up. Oh my God, from last year, I'm so excited. Look how cute. I remember putting them here last year, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness. They're just so cute. Look at my little mans. Oh, that's so cute. And then we have him. <laughs> Got these little bats from Home Goods. $7.99, $14.99, and I didn't know what I was gonna do with them, but I actually think I'm gonna set them out here. We don't really use this table that much, so they're kind of cute out. Here, I have a candle in here. I should set this candle out because it's so cute and it's like black for the spirit. Maybe we'll light, I normally light it in there, but maybe we'll like do a little moment right there and like light it. But we're gonna put all these pumpkins in here. Given all of our little pumpkins. We have our candle lit. That's a big candle. I didn't realize how big that candle was. Wow, that's gonna be smelling good. Okay, over here, I just put these two, again from Target, 
And then I put a little pop of orange over there. It just kind of gives it the vibe. Cute. Okay, I have this little ghost. the little diptyque soap over here and then I put a little orange pumpkin right there so I love I love the pops so spooky he's gonna be even cuter when I get batteries in him okay we have our little pumpkins out of him. You can put a candle in the back side of him to light him up. I know, it's spelled wrong. We went through this last year. What I didn't know is it was spelled wrong when I bought it. I would assume that was spelled right. Apparently there's an E up in here somewhere, but it's still cute. So we're still gonna use it. And then I got this with my Crate and Barrel gift card. Gorgeous. I will be keeping this up through December. Well, just kidding. We're gonna decorate from Christmas. I will be keeping this up through November. Actually, I won't. We'll do Christmas in December, November. November. I got my little skeleton man in this chair as you come up the stairs. Okay, and then I just put some pumpkins here in our hallway. I thought that would look kind of pretty. I put one down there. And then I got these at Target. They kind of go with the vibes. I told you guys it's all pumpkins. My bedroom, I just put the second half of these pumpkins in this little dish. Those are so pretty. Of course, I got them at Home Goods. Okay, and then I broke. <gasps> Yo, I dropped it and I broke it. So now I'm hiding that it's broken. And I just bought this this year. Look what it did to the floor. A gash. I don't even know. Please comment and tell me how I'm supposed to fix that. I don't even think I can. All right, my last piece of decor is Hamble on Pumpkin. Actually, I think I got this for a TikTok video. Didn't I from a small business? I put it on my bedside table. And that's our last little piece of decor. I told you it's not a lot. That's like all I got. <laughs> I don't have a lot. I'm gonna go back to Home Goods though and get a few more pieces before Halloween's over, I think. I think. They're probably already on to Christmas though. Well, if they have more stuff, I'm gonna get it. I also put this little one here. I was, it's so pretty. And my cat Boo Boo will pee on stuff like this. We keep our bedroom door closed during the day. So this is like a safe place for this one because this would be a danger zone. But I love the simplicity in it. I wish I had more. I do. Last year, I don't even... I don't even think I recorded me decorating last year because I, I, I literally didn't have anything. And this year I went to Home Goods one night and just like blacked out. I might have to do that again to get some more stuff that's actual Halloween-y. We'll see. Stay tuned. I'm going to Home Goods to, to get some more Halloween decor. And I'm gonna pop this section in the vlog in our decor era section, even though the days aren't gonna make sense. But yeah, I'm gonna try out this new, uh, it's like a Marshall's Home Goods together. So I figure, they'll ha I'm trying not to get hit by a car as well, but I figure they'll have a bunch of stuff. So let me get up in here. Okay, this is what I got so far. I want it more like Halloween stuff, less fall stuff. This, this cart's disgusting, but how freaking cute is that? And then I got this little ghost and then a little cookie jar. Ooh, ha, ha. Okay, all this stuff is so cute right here in the cooking area. I just love the speckled pumpkins. That's cute too. <gasps> I think I'm gonna have to get some of this. is not even that packed out and I'm shocked because it's like a Saturday. I got lucky um, and I found a bunch of cute little Halloween stuff. So we're gonna go home now and figure out where we're gonna put it to go with our Halloween decor. And now I feel like I have like a little some some, you know what I mean? I'm trying to build every year, like do a trip or two to Home Goods. Yeah, I feel like we accomplished that. And I thought I was gonna freak out in there because I thought I was like, girl, you're going there at Saturday at lunchtime, like you're asking for it. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Good decisions were made today. Now let's go home and figure out where we're gonna put all of Laura's new goodies. Okay, quick haul. First thing I got is this container. I liked that it had a lid and containers inside of it. So I think we're 
I'm gonna use this for my beauty room. Also got this little mirror. I've been looking for a short, ooh, needs to be cleaned, hello. I've been looking for a short mirror. So whenever I'm filming TikToks, it's like not in front of the camera. My camera can sit up here. So this one was $12.99. How cute is he? He's wooden. He's a widow bat. I thought he was the cutest. I found him last second, 19. Uh, I got this, this one needs to be dusted. This is just like, I don't know, uh, $9.99. This one's really cute though. It's like matte. I love the matte look. Actually, this might be cute up here. I got these for the kitchen. I love the speckling. I, they had so many of these. Kind of wish I got more, but I was like, this is good. And you can just store stuff in it. So cute to have out. I got him. I'm not big on like um, decor you can't wipe off because it's more like a cushion, but he was so cute. I couldn't, I couldn't leave him there. Okay, $14.99. This thing, I think I should put a candle in them. Not like a, um, a real one, like a fake one. Oh my God, I didn't even realize he says boo inside. Boo, $12.99. And then I got the two signs. Very cute, spooky season. I got these, I was cleaning up my beauty room this morning and I was like, dang, I'm out of containers. Actually, that's what inspired me to go more than anything. And then these were just like a nice size bin to store stuff. Ah, yeah, I'm a container freak, I'm a Virgo. Let me have all the containers. But that's everything I got, so let's decorate. My hair is looking crazy. Oh, I also got this basket, I saw it in the mirror. I'm gonna replace, mm, it looks so light in color, but I'm gonna replace the basket in the living room for the blankets because the bottom of it is like, the bottom of it is like falling apart. It's done. So she's getting replaced vibes. She's getting replaced. pumpkins i put that little skull head i think it looks so cute and then i put my candle back in here even though it's a cute candle in my opinion all right i just put the spooky season sign back here i don't know what else to do with her she may move but for now it's gonna be right there y'all are probably gonna literally scream when you see what i did with the ghost with the open mouth the boo ghost <laughs> it's so cute I made him a tomato holder. It looks like he has a mouthful of tomatoes. I think it's so freaking cute. I can't get over it. Like, I was like, at first I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm confused. Should I have bought this? Should I not have it? And then when I put all my tomatoes in his little mouth, I screamed. So uh, that's very cute. Very cute. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I want for Halloween. Okay, we're gonna change out the basket for the blankie now. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with those. Okay, this is the basket that keeps on scratching my floors because the bottom's like falling apart. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna keep the paper in the bottom of this too. I don't know why, actually no. Am I? No, I'm gonna take it out. This one is not big enough. Yoshi, what did I do? No, I gotta put this somewhere else. Oh my God. Y'all, this basket's way too small. My girl math did not pay off for me here. So back to this one we go. We both know I'm not gonna return this. I'm also cleaning my couch cushions. So if you see a disaster over here, just know things are happening. 
And I'm gonna wash this blanket. We normally put this one on the couch anyways. <laughs> Hello, hello, I'm in New York. New York. I have to do that. It's storming. Well, it's like been super rainy since I got here. Let me show you. Boom. All the rain, all that rain. I'm actually kind of into it. It's kind of like a fall September vibe in New York. That's why my hair is up though. So today, I'm here with Kiss by the way. I'm wearing the Kiss lashes, got the Kiss nails. But today we are going, they're like giving us, today they're like giving us a private tour of the like, there's a Friends Cafe from the TV show Friends. And they like rented it out for an hour for us to like explore that I guess. And then we're taking like a three hour car ride to the Hamptons. We're staying at the Hamptons for a few days with them. So it's kind of like a multi trip. So we spent the first night in the city. Last night we went to dinner. Last night was a whirlwind. I literally woke up at 3 a.m., got to the airport by 4.30, flew here at 6. Time changed, so I got here at like almost 4 o'clock. Got to the hotel. They were like, you gotta get ready for dinner immediately. Didn't even have time to eat food yesterday. So I, I told them, I was like, guys. So I ran and got fast food across the street, came back, 45 minutes to do hair, makeup, outfit, half-assed my hair. It was just like, honestly, too much. I was like, yesterday I was like, I couldn't even vlog. I was so stressed the entire day. It was, it was so fast. I couldn't do it. That's how brand trips go though. It's like, boom, boom, boom. I woke up early this morning to give myself some time to like vlog and get ready and pack because we're going to the Hamptons shortly after this little friends thing. But today I'm just wearing like a blazer and blue jeans because it's so rainy. I had different outfits planned, but I guess I didn't look at the weather. I only looked at the temp and the temp was like similar to LA actually. It's like kind of chilly. So today's going to be much better. Of a vibe. Last night was fun though. We went to dinner and all hung out. It was like a good time. But anyways, that's that's the tea on today. But I'm gonna take you guys with me. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. It's very London. It's giving you know London. New York. <laughs> and she knows. Yeah. <laughs> it's raining. Um, so I'm from LA, so you know, we don't even know this what these new. are. This is new for us. You just shouldn't even have outside an umbrella. Hi, we said, what's an umbrella? We're going on a little adventure with Kiss this morning. This is actually the Friends Museum. This is us showing up. It's really cool. Like, I watched all of Friends. Was it my favorite show? Was I obsessed? I wasn't. I really wasn't. But I like the show. I think it's a really cute show. And I know it's so iconic. So this was a cool thing to do. Um, at the museum, they literally have everything. They have the red couch. They have all the sets. They have all the stuff. The outfits. The props. Everything from the show. Even the scripts. Everything is signed. It, it's really cool. Like, if you like the Friends show, you should definitely stop by if you're in New York ever because it's quite the experience. I mean, this place is massive, by the way. It's like three stories or something. I don't know. But anyways, I thought, my personal opinion, the coolest part of this whole thing is whenever you get to go into Monica's apartment because they have all the stuff from her apartment. 
I was living the friend's fantasy, even though I'm not my, I honestly, my husband and my father-in-law are the bigger friends people. So I was sending them all this footage. I also did a TikTok on it. So you guys may have seen all this stuff on TikTok. Y'all can follow me on TikTok. I'm going to go ahead and plug my TikTok for no reason while we're sharing friends stuff. Okay. Back to the trip. Wow, that's so iconic now. Oh my god, the whole freaking set. Oh my gosh. What? Look at Look. We're in Joey's apartment, guys. They have all the apartments. It's so freaking cool. Oh, that was so cute. Yeah. We just bought takis, like the Pringle takis, and she's letting us all. I would not be sharing these like this. I'd be like, everybody splits one chip. I haven't even had one. It's my first time trying these. <laughs> yeah, see, you shouldn't be sharing. I'm going to take three. I'm just kidding. Go for it. No, I don't mind. Okay, this is a talkie chip. I'm going to try this. I've never tried it. You should try it. Spicy but very delicious. I actually like this better than the roll. We're at the Hamptons. I just had breakfast. There it is out there. It's so hot today out there. I just went on like an hour beach walk. And I just got ready. Now we're going to, I was supposed to be at brunch, but I kind of skipped that because I was like good on food. But I'm going to bump into the brunch and then I'm going to go to the little master class they have for us today. And then we have chill time. So it's a very relaxing day. But come join me. We have, um, I'm going to show you. Okay, so I always keep this one on me, the super strong lash adhesive. This is great for sensitive eyes too. Like I found that this works really well for so many people. It's clear. So that's the super strong if you want something that's literally going to last you all day. So while you're looking down let this get a little tacky while it's sitting here and i'm just kind of manipulating it so i drop it in the center and then i start to manipulate the inner and outer corners and you can kind of see do you need to drag it a little more inward or do you need to drag it a little more outward i know you guys are also pros too so i'm just walking you through my process but yesterday clean bare nail make sure you apply it from nail glue to nail glue and the beauty of this is by the beginning of this, our heels will be off. The beginning, honey. I said the inch of the beginning. Yes, ma'am. Ew. <laughs> We're out here in a... We're falling. That I'm going to insert some video of each of us running through the fields. You need to see it because they did say, wear flats or wedges. And, and we what did said, we do? Spiky heels. Immediately. Immediately. It went Botegas. with the fit. Botegas. It went with the fit. She's cute. She's oh. Cute. Ooh. Ooh. We're paying for it. <laughs> we really are. Here's a kiss sign. Right there. And yeah, so we're having cute. dinner in a vineyard. Woohoo! <laughs> Wait a minute, was that mine too? <laughs> Wait, I'm just gonna get another one. It's okay. <laughs> no, I think it's good. Yeah. You got it? <laughs> I think they want to get a group photo. <laughs> Goodbye, Hamptons. I just finished packing and I'm headed home. I miss my husband, I miss my mans, and I miss my cat. This was a really cute trip. We did New York for one night and then we did Hamptons for two nights. So it was pretty short and sweet. All these dark circles. <laughs> That's because I haven't slept, you know, more than six hours each night. So hopefully on the plane ride home, I will be able to just like pass out. But anyways, let's go back to LA, honey. Let's get back into business. So I just want to tell you my freaking BS bag carry on it broke so going to the airport multiple people were like oh your bag's unzipped and I was like it sure is it sure is it broke on me guys and it has two zippers so two both zippers broke at different times so I'm gonna have to get rid of this bag I don't think I can salvage it honestly it was so frustrating dealing with <laughs> a broken bag but anyways I'm just happy to be on this plane home okay I'm ready you know like I always say the best part of leaving is coming home so we are headed back to the City of Angels. I'm 
driving home. I had a doctor's appointment and I was gonna stop at Home Goods to polish off. Actually, I still might do that. How sparse the Halloween decor is in my house. So I was just gonna do a quick one too to see if they had anything else. But my assistant's gonna be at my house at two. So I need to kind of be there to guide her on what we're doing today, what we're working on today. So I gotta go home and then hopefully I can, I can stop by after. Just got in from New York late last night. My flight was delayed because it's always delayed. You know what I mean? If you expect it to not be delayed, you'll be upset. But leaving JFK, which in my humble opinion, and you guys are gonna disagree, but I think it's the worst airport in America. I've never not had a de delayed flight from JFK. I've never left on time from JFK. I don't know what's in the air there. But LAX is so on time. You would really think I would complain more about LAX because I that's the airport I'm always using because I leave out of there, but they're they're really good for me. LAX has like got their stuff together. Um this morning me and Ty were just working on stuff, like catching up on stuff, and then tomorrow I've gotta film and make content, so yep, that's my day. I'm back from New York. It was so cute. Um, whenever I was leaving the Hamptons, <laughs> my driver, he like lived kind of around the area and he, he was so cute y'all. He was telling me how the, that the Hamptons have the most beautiful beaches on planet earth. And I was like, oh, I don't know about all that, but you know what? I let him believe that. I said, wow, wow. Um, you're so right. They do because he was so proud of his beaches. So, you know, Floridians are very proud of their beaches too, as they should be. But anyways, so now I'm just like living my best life going approximately 10 miles an hour on the freeway because it's traffic. But let me tell you something, New York traffic is a different level. Like you will get stuck in one place for 45 minutes. Like it's, it, it let, let me explain it this way. New York traffic made me appreciate and love LA traffic because baby we are always moving in LA we are always moving and we also have like six or seven lanes on our freeways whereas they have like two that doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense anyways I'm so happy to be home you know what the best part of leaving is coming home so yeah none of my cats miss me at all either whenever I got home they were just like okay girl <laughs> like we don't even care that you left uh, probably because my husband was home with them. I always have someone stay at my house though. Like I never, 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 never leave my house just alone ever. Period. I got a, I got a list of people that watch my house, and I go through the list whenever we leave. I don't have a ton of work to do. I plotted it this way. I put all my work, like for uh, filming and content, on Friday. I put all my work on Friday, so. Today, I would be able to make it to my doctor's appointment and work with my assistant on like little things, you know, things that are not big tasks, so. Okay, you know how I just said we're always moving in LA? I was just at a complete stop. <laughs> so we're making kebabies tonight and you're gonna make them with me? Okay, Ty forgot to put the chicken in the fridge from the freezer and so he was like, I'm just gonna go to the store. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and prep the veggies while he's at the store. I'm so ready for some home cooked food. Well, I, I cook pretty often so I crave, I literally crave my own food. I'm like, I don't wanna eat out. I don't wanna order food. Like I just want easy home cooked meal. So this is my first one since I've been back from New York and I'm very excited about it. This is one of my favorite meals. It's pretty easy that we do. And let me show you what we marinate the chicken in that makes it so yummy. Oh, we need an onion. <gasps> no, I don't think we have one. I'm gonna call Ty. Yo. You're on the way home. No, I'm checking out. Did you so, get onion? What? Did you get an onion? You're cutting out. Did you get an onion? Yeah, I did. Oh, thank God, because we don't have any. I'll be home soon. Your okay. dad, you gotta text your dad back. Uh, I don't really understand what he's saying, but we'll talk about it when I get home. <laughs> okay. We got an onion. Okay, if you don't like um, onion or some of these ingredients, you totally just leave them off. But let me show you what I marinate. Um, we do. I'm going to start with the chopped broccoli. I'm going to show you the marinade when Ty gets back from the store because I ordered it off Amazon. You can get it at the grocery store, but some grocery stores don't have it. So I had ordered it off Amazon, and he put it somewhere when it came in, and I don't, don't know where he put it, so... <laughs> I'm just chopping the fresh broccoli. I like fresh broccoli better than frozen, but sometimes 
you know, it's hard to keep fresh food, so you got to get the frozen, but I like fresh a little bit better, so you just chop it if you don't want a lot of stem. It depends on how much stem you want. And then I throw it in a colander dish so I can, I also chop up big pieces like this, but I throw it in a little colander like this just to wash it after I've chopped it because I can feel like you can wash it better and get up in there whenever it's smaller. Broccoli is honestly one of my favorite vegetables and almost every time I cook. This is like my normal side. Like it's like my go-to. I just love it. I love it roasted, sauteed. I'm just going to boil it tonight just for like a little bit to soften it up. We're going to wash it first. And then I always sat it on a dishcloth in case it drips a little or you can like hook it in your sink. My sink's not clean, so I'm not gonna do that, but you can hook it, this one. I got like home goods, this little colander. But you can hook it in your sink to let it drain, but we're gonna let that set there and then we're gonna cut the bell peppers for the kebabies. Bell peppers smell so yummy. I wanna make one of those dishes one day where you put like the stuffed meat and you like you bake the bell pepper. I need to make that. I don't know how to make that, but I need to investigate that. But I'm just cutting these into little pieces. I mean, depending on how bad you want to slide it onto your skewer. I might cut that in half. our skewers I'm gonna do rice and broccoli as the sides I always do rice it's my go-to but you can always do like another carb if you guys wanted to switch it up I mean you can do whatever you want <laughs> we're just we're just cooking dinner over here so dinner is ready and I'm just gonna show it to you <laughs> okay this is not I cannot find the seasoning babe this is not it's the mojito one by grill masters that I normally use so we're gonna try Baja citrus tonight because I couldn't find it anywhere and he couldn't find it either I didn't look for that you didn't tell me that that's what we were The mojito for. one. Are you sure you bought mojito? Yeah, I remember. For, I think it was like in a big container. Like, you know, the just one, one big bought, container. Like, the oh, yeah, yeah, we have that. Where? I couldn't find it. Literally right here. Where? <gasps> oh, dad got it. Okay, this is the one Girl. that I always put on my kebabs, and it's so good, but. Oof. It won't honestly, focus. that's the one I always put on my kebabs, but I couldn't find it, so I used the lime one. Honestly, though, I was smelling it on the grill, and it smelled really good. Okay, this is what they like. I like mine crispy, so don't think he burnt these. I asked him to crisp mine, and then his, he likes his less crispy. I just love the charred taste. I just, mm, it gets me going. He put pineapple on his, and all we do, oh, it's steaming up the camera, honey. It's hot. But all we do is chop the chicken up with kitchen scissors, like food scissors. Put the seasoning and olive oil in a bowl. You can also add water and vinegar if you want to dilute it a little. Let it set for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. The longer, the more flavorful it's going to be. And then we put the onion, a little piece of onion, bell pepper, chicken, and layer it. You put pineapple too if you want to get crazy. And that's all we do. That's it. Um, and then I always do tomatoes as a side. But this is what we're trying tonight. So let me try a little piece and tell you what I think. I think this is for seafood, but also maybe chicken. Mm, I'm gonna take this little crispy piece. I love the crispy. Mmm, it's literally so freaking good. Also, I put some crushed red peppers in there too, because I like to add spice, a little spice to everything. We have rice, sticky rice, and broccoli. Miss girl, what are you doing? 